This week on the BDC World Championships presented by Loyal Pet Food. We get to watch a father and son team on their road to the World Championships. We will also bring you match play competition in the Pointer Ooh. Division, where dogs and handlers go head to head. Winners move on and losers go home. Point! Stay tuned for the BDC World Championships presented by Loyal Pet Food. Welcome to the Rolling Hills of Northeastern Kansas. We're here for the 10th Annual BDC World Championships. I'm here with Mark Hillman. Mark, you're a competitor in this competition. Tell me a little bit about what we got going on this week. These fields are big, the cover's light, and I can honestly say, Jeff, with the five years that I've been involved with these World Championships, these are the biggest and toughest fields I've ever encountered. And we've got people from all over. Tell me about some of our competitors. We've got competitors from the BDC all around the country. We've got competitors from NUX, the UFTA, all national champions, and we've even got a ladies division. Well, Mark, we're gonna see some new teams in the prelim pointer action. That's right, Jeff. And we're also gonna visit with a team from New York that's been preparing for this tournament for several months now. Mark, the pointing rules for match play are very similar to the regular competition. These pointing dogs must find, point, and retrieve three birds in 15 minutes. They must retrieve birds to hand, go, go, go. miss oh, shots oh, and caught oh, birds oh. incur a five minute penalty. Partial retrieves incur a two and one half minute penalty. And then at the end of the competition, whoever has the lowest time when you add in any penalty minutes and they're running the field, moves on. I'm out here with Randy and Nathan Hillegas. You guys have documented your road to the world. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, this is our second year at the Worlds, and uh, Jack kind of approached us and asked us to kind of start to document and record what it takes to get here, the training involved, and what we've done to get to this point, and what it takes to get to this point. So we kind of tagged along with each other with a little camera and uh, did, did some filming. Sounds like a cool experience. What can you tell me about it? What was it like for you guys to put together something for people so they can understand what it's like to have your dogs and then get them to this level? Well, it was a little different than what we were normally used to because we had to think of what the public would like to see and what it takes to, to get to the world. You know, we had to show them a little bit on uh, how we train our dogs and what we do with our dogs and the time that we have to put into our dogs to get to the world, so going to tournaments, going to the field of practice, and doing a lot of stuff just around the house. So today we're going to use uh, quail and we're going to use some um, chuckers. That's what we primarily use. Birds are easy to work with. Have, have really good scent for training. Um, we try and do this about every two two weeks leading up to the bulk of the season. Uh, and then we get out and run on the big fields. We run on the fields two to three times a week just to keep the dogs conditioned. October 23rd, 6 p.m. at night, uh, on our way to Kansas for the BDC World Championships. We've got about 18 and a half hour drive ahead of us. Looking forward to it. Hitting all of our local tournaments to qualify for this has been a, a ton of fun. Uh, but uh, but this is also where you know it pays off. Now that we're at the end of this, where we're doing the championships. You guys look back on it. What was the season like? Um, it's you know what, it is a it is an absolute ball. We love going out with our dogs and just running our dogs. I mean, we're here in Kansas, win or lose, we're out here in these fields hunting with our dogs. That's what it's about. Now let's join Elizabeth Lanier for this week's Electronic Shooters Protection Shooting Tip of the Week. 
Your dog is on point or getting birdie. Your heart is racing, you're excited, but are you ready for the flush? It's okay, let's take the time to get ready. Just relax, exhale, and set yourself up in the direction of the anticipated flush. Bring the butt of your gun up to where your armpit joins your body and be ready, eyes focus just out ahead of the dog. You don't wanna be looking at the ground because your eyes won't focus as easily out to the target. As soon as the bird flushes, resist the movement to throw the gun into your shoulder and out, but take your hand to the target, bring the gun to your face, and don't think about it. Make one smooth move to the target. Just see the bird clearly, focus on the leading edge, use your natural pointing ability, and trigger the shot. Bang, dead bird. Mark, now we got Nate Hillegas. He's running his English pointer named Hank. This is the first part of match play. That's right. Nate is a union carpenter. He's been with the BDC for about three years, and he also participates in the UFTA, which is the United Field Trailers Association. They came all the way here from Lindley, New York. Let's see how they do. Come on, Tank. Mark, we're into this run. One bird's already been harvested. We're on bird two. Yeah, Nate's got one bird here clean in one minute, and he's on bird number two. Now by clean, you're saying that there's no penalty so far. We had the one bird, we had a good point, we had a great retrieve, and now we're, we're on to the second bird. That is correct. The dog's doing a great job, point. and there we got a point. That is a gorgeous point right there. Look at that tail stiff. Yes, sir. And you saw Nate, he stopped for three seconds there. The handler must stop for three seconds while his Whoa, dog's buddy. on point before he can come in and, and try to find this bird and, and get it in the air. So now he's got the bird. Well, you can see the bird running in front of him. Now that could get you to the point where you'd have a non-performer, correct? That is correct. The, the handler must make at least two to three attempts, good attempts to get that bird in the air. If it doesn't happen, it is a non-performer. And this judge actually a did call judge? a non-performer, so Nate gets full points for that. I don't know where now, the only I'm issue with this you. is his dog still went after the bird. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. he's, he's got to get his dog back so he can go hunt bird number three, but Nate on, does buddy. receive full points oh for that. Here we are on bird three. Point. We got a point. Now he doesn't look real solid. He had his tail moving a little bit. No, and you oh, can buddy. you can definitely tell the difference here from, from this point and his second bird, which is a rock solid point. And it looks like he's just having oh. a little bit of trouble pinpointing this one. Looks like Nate's having trouble pinpointing it too. Yeah, Nate Nate's having a little trouble finding it. I've, I've been there, I've, I've done one pointer run in my life and uh, the guys asked me if I needed a rake to find the bird. It's, it is not as easy as it looks. Where is he, buddy? Nate's gonna try to reestablish a point with this dog so that he can lock in on the bird. Right, now he's already got the points for a point. That dog does not have to reestablish a point because he's in Look. the same area. Now the dog does, Whoa. and it looks like Nate has, has found the bird here, but he's, he's already got points for the point. Wow, that was a great shot. Up, the buddy. dog is right on the bird. Fetch him up. Yeah, I think in baseball terms you would say uh, he got all here, of that buddy. one. <laughs> right here. Here. That was a nice Good retrieve boy. by Tank, and he stopped the clock at 9.02. Good boy. Turned out all right. Uh, not as quick as I wanted it to be, but it, still a good finish. Mark, for the second half of our match play, we've got Daniel Park. He's from Olathe, Kansas. He says English pointer named Griffin. They actually won the National Upland Classic Championship for singles pointers this year. And actually, his wife, Brenda, is going to be competing in the ladies' division also. Well, let's see if he can beat a time of 9.02. Dan's got his dog out. They're about 50 seconds Ooh. in. they got to beat a time of 9.02, and they got their first point. Yeah, now we're, we're, we're into a minute here, and the dog has established a point. Dan has found it. Wow, great shot. And a double. Wow. 
That is some good fortune, but he's got to do the dog work now to get those birds back in to get full retrieves. Absolutely, and, and I think you're going to find with pointers, you know, a, a lot of them aren't trained for their blind retrieves. Um, some of them, quite frankly, struggle on retrieves, so I would be very surprised if he didn't have to take a partial here. Dead bird! He just sent him on his blind retrieve and has him out in the area hunting it. Dead bird! Dead! Hunt! Dead! Dead! Wow. Fetch it up! Fetch it up! Here. That's awesome. That is phenomenal. For a pointer Here. to do that, that is great dog work. Here. Right. Now he's a minute and 40, Here. about a minute and 50 Here. seconds Here. into the run here, and he's got his second Let's bird. Go. He's, got it. he's got to be feeling good. And I know from a, from a competitor standpoint, when you get a double and capitalize on that, I mean, that doesn't happen very often. He's got to be ecstatic. Why? We're four minutes, 45 seconds in. We've got our third bird pointed. If he gets it clean here, he's going to get almost half the time of what Nate Hilligus did. Right, and as you're looking at the time, when he, he had his second bird in roughly two minutes and 20 seconds, something like that, and now we're at five minutes, uh, just kind of shows you how good of players these guys are. I believe that Dan didn't find that middle bird right away, being that he had a double uh, up front, and he, I think he just went to the back and, and knew there was a bird down there and got it, and he's going to stop the clock here with a very impressive time, and obviously he's going to move on. Here. That was a great shot, great here. dog work. The dog's here. bringing it back in. Here. And you can see, here, you can see how excited here, he gets there here, with the here, here. I mean, they know. I mean, it, it's pretty exciting out there. And Dan and Griffin are moving on. Whoa, good boy. Had a great run going with that double right off the bat. Good blind retrieve, I thought, on his part. Where Pointer's match play is heating up. Here's some more highlights from today's preliminary action. Point. Here, Willie. Hold. Hold, Willie. Hold. Ah, let's go, Willie. Come on. Come on. Come on. Time. Oh. Good girl. Now we have Brad O'Connell. He's a retired manufacturing executive that has a passion for training and campaigning his bird dogs all over the country. Brad is actually from my hometown in Menominee, Wisconsin, Jeff, and you will not find a nicer guy than Brad. Brad actually grew up in Iowa, and he actually traded baling hay for permission to hunt on farmer's land. He's got a heck of a dog. Sonny is a nine-time BDC champion and has two major wins to his credit. Mark, we're joining Brad midway through his run. He's on bird two. He's running his English setter named Sonny, and this dog got its name kind of in an interesting way. Sunny, uh, Sunrise is his name, Kristen Sunrise, somewhat after my daughter. My other dog is Cher, and believe it or not, I had a lot of help determining that name. So Sunny and Cher are the two dogs that I own. Point. And here he has a good solid point. Whoa. And again, Whoa. you know, you, you see him, he's got to stop for three seconds when, when the, the judge deemed that that point is good. That was a nice shot. The dog's right on the bird. Sonny, come! Dog makes come. a nice retrieve. Come. That's a beautiful come. dog. Come. That English come. setter is just beautiful. He's trying come. to get the dog to give him the bird because he can't move, because otherwise it would be called a partial retrieve if he moved, correct? That is absolutely correct. You cannot move your plant foot, so you have to establish a, you know, a plant foot just like in basketball. You can't move that plant foot, otherwise it's traveling. Same thing in, in this game. The dog's working point. the back half of the field, and we got a point. Wow, that's, you know, that's really impressive. The conditions are extremely dry. Uh, Brad's got his, his third bird locked down here, and it, you know some of these pointer guys get a, a long ways away from their dog, and it takes them a while to get up there. But uh, th this is this is a really Whoa. really nice run, and Brad's got to be happy. Now Brad is not a professional; he just owns his dogs and runs them, which shows that anyone can be involved in this sport. Absolutely, you're, you're looking at a guy in his, his his early 60s here that's competing at a very high level. He trained and runs his own dogs. You know, he's got got two dogs. Uh, most most of the time, you're on Sunny, and he just he just hit his third bird there. But I mean, what a what a great story! I mean, Brad, I'm I'm really happy for Brad. He's a, he's just a great guy. The dog's got Come. the bird. He's bringing it back, oh. and we stopped at 7:23. That's a great run. Uh, the wind's blowing hard. 
So that took us a little longer to cover the ground as well as we wanted to, but we found the birds. The people that play our game come from all over the country and from a variety of interesting backgrounds. Let's meet another competitor in this week's Snapshot. My name's Bill Berner uh, from Beetle Ridge Kennel in Lamona, Iowa. Every year we host five BDC tournaments. This is my bird dog, Beulah Ridge Willie. Uh, Willie is a BDC legendary champion. He does several things extremely well. The first thing is he quarters back and forth. The second thing, he's got an extremely good nose. And last but not least, he can run like the wind. Mark, we're under our next part of match play. We have Scott LaPlante with a six-year-old German short hair pointer named Dexter. Scott is from Elk River, Minnesota, and has won three super majors, which are BDC's biggest tournaments. I know we're expecting big things from this run. Good boy, Dexter, good boy, buddy. Mark, we're looking for bird two. That dog is covering a ton of ground out there in the field. It is, Thanks, Jeff, Mark. and this, this dog, Dexter, is just a physical specimen. It's a, just a real nice looking dog. Usually for this guy, he's uh, it's either feast or famine with this one. He's uh, he can be pretty, pretty amped up, and if uh, things are work right, he can be pretty good. Or he'll overrun his nose. He is my power wagon. He's four wheel drive all the time. See the dog locking in, and we've got a point here. How about that one? All you right, hear Dex, Scott talking boy. to his dog. You know, these, these guys do have a unique relationship, and, and you're, you're going to see that my with Scott bird. and Dexter. <laughs> my bird. I see it standing up here. See it? I don't think they need us doing play by play. Scott's doing it for us. Exactly. Wow, that was a hard shot. What people can't see is how windy it is, and those birds are getting up into the wind, and then they're taking the wind and they're peeling off to the left-hand side. Again, Scott did a great job of, of letting that bird commit to the direction it wanted to go before he shot. We, we see a lot of competitors in, in this game try to shoot too fast, and on a bird like that, you'll miss. Point! Whoa, Dexter, stay put! We're on our third point. He has a time to be here, 7.23. He doesn't know it, though, but if he did, he would really, really be hustling up there. And now Scott's just coming into the picture Whoa. right now, and I can tell you that there is no possible way that he's gonna get this bird up in 723 and, and get it to hand. So he's gonna fall just short here. But again, you know, the conditions are tough. It's very, very dry. And for, for these dogs to, to stop the clock on three birds in, in less than eight minutes, it's, it's, it's a great feat. Whoa, no, that doesn't mean move, stay. There we are with our color commentary by Scott for this run. It, it's fun to hear because you, you get to see, and again, a great shot by Scott, but you get to see the relationships between these handlers and dogs, and it's, it's, it's actually sometimes quite comical. Hold, drop, 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 drop. Thank you, Stein, sit, sit. And he let go and we're at eight minutes, so he fell just short. Let's take a look at the Loyal Leaderboard. Daniel Park and his dog Griffin had an exceptional run and advanced over Nathan Hillegas and his dog Tank. And in the second match between Sonny and Dexter, Brad O'Connell was able to squeak out a victory over Scott LaPlante. And now it's time for this week's BDC World Championship Shot of the Week. And this week's shot goes to Dan Park on an outstanding double. We're gonna see right here, Dan makes a great shot on bird number one and bird number two comes into the screen. It, it kind of fooled the cameraman Dan. there. There's another look at it. You hear the two shots. And you know, the shots were impressive, but the retrieve was also real impressive by Griffin. And that's why Dan Park's shots were this week's BDC World Championships Shot of the Week. Next week on the BDC World Championships, presented by Loyal Pet Food, we'll meet a competitor from Michigan and an amazing bird dog that she rescued. Heel! And then we'll see exciting ladies match play action. Get the next one. Next time on the BDC World Championships, presented by Loyal Pet Food. Uh -huh.